Hello everyone, in case you are unaware, a few months ago I uploaded a video in which I built a 3D printer from CD drives. On that video I got a ton of comments asking me to make a video showing how to build and control that 3D printer. The YouTube channel Tinkernet however actually made an online written and video tutorial on how to build one of these 3D printers. And just to make everything clear, I did use his tutorial, but since he didn't explain some things very well, I had to figure them out on my own, and that proved to be extremely time consuming and frustrating. But please don't think that in any way I'm trying to bash Tinkernet's tutorial, because this tutorial was actually extremely helpful, and I don't think I could have built my 3D printer without it. So basically, this video is going to be a modified version of his tutorial that includes all of the steps that he either missed or forgot to mention. By the way, if you want to check out his video for yourself, you can click the link in the description below. So I decided that since so many of you guys asked for a tutorial, and there's only one tutorial about this specific 3D printer on YouTube that I could find, then I would make my own tutorial on how to build and control a $45 3D printer. So let's get started. First off, I'd like to say that if you want a good quality and useful 3D printer, then this is not the printer for you. This 3D printer can only print basic objects and should be built more for fun and experience than for practical use. Also, to avoid having to buy all new parts and rebuild the entire thing and film it, I've decided to use pictures, drawings, and short videos to illustrate the build process. So this is definitely going to be interesting and a bit different than most tutorials on YouTube, but I'll do my best to make it simple and easy to understand. Now that that's out of the way, we can finally start the project. The parts that you will need are an Arduino Uno R3, three stepper motor drivers, a 3D printing pen, three CD drives, I used two from broken Nintendo Wii's and one from an old Dell computer tower in my first build. And this was actually not the best decision because the Wii and computer CD drives slightly vary, so the print is a little off. I would recommend using computer drives because they are all about the same size and you can use the housing for your 3D printer body. You will also need wire, various screws, and other small objects that I'll mention later on, a computer power supply or 12 volt in wall power source, or another 12 volt power source that can supply enough power to power both the pen and stepper motor drivers, a plastic, metal, or cardboard sheet, or anything else so you can make a small base for your 3D printer to print on. The next thing you're going to want to do is to take apart your CD drives. Keep in mind that there are quite a few different types of CD drives, so your drive will probably have different screw locations and look different than the one I'm using. But all of the drives will be similar and should be easy to take apart. You can take them apart by flipping over the drive and removing the screws on the bottom panel. Next, pull the bottom plate off and remove all of the ribbon cables and screws connected to the motherboard. Once everything is removed, you can stick a bobby pin or something about that same size into that tiny hole and that ejects the disc tray. Next, you can remove the front panel. Next, flip over the drive and remove the back panel. And this right here is what we're after. Now, it's time to remove it. Next, we are going to want to remove the optical lens. In this video, he also removes the stepper motor, but that is not necessary. Next, you're going to want to remove the actual lens itself along with any of the other random objects attached to it from the metal or plastic sliding tray. Now you can put the whole tray back together and start taking apart your other two drives. Next, you should add wires to the four posts of the stepper motor. So when connecting wires to your motors, I would recommend using two different wire colors. Next, you can test each coil with a multimeter. Do this by setting the multimeter to continuity mode and then placing one probe onto the first terminal and then placing the second probe onto the next terminal and then on the terminal after that and finally on the last one. When you hear a beep, solder a wire to the first terminal, and solder the same color of wire to the terminal that caused your multimeter to beep. Next, take your other wire and solder the two wires to the remaining terminals, and then repeat this process for the other two stepper motors. Make sure to test all of your connections again after you've wired everything up. Next, we need to install the X, Y, and Z axes. Take one of your trays and place it like so on one of your CD drive housings. Mark where it sits and drill holes into it small enough for motherboard mounts. Screw the motherboard mounts into it and place the tray back onto the housing and secure it with screws. This is the Y axis. 
Take another tray and place it perpendicular to the second housing and mark it, drill it, and secure it. This is the x-axis. Next, place the final tray perpendicular to the x-axis tray. You can do this by drilling three small holes into where the lens used to be and then placing the motherboard mounts into them. Next, get a small piece of plastic about the same size of the tray. Drill three holes into it to allow you to secure it to the x-axis. Next, place the last tray onto the plate. Mark the holes, drill them, and add motherboard mounts to the small plate and secure your tray to your board. Finally, secure your plate that has the z-axis on it to the x-axis tray. Next, we need to create the plate which the 3D printer will print on. First, you need to get your two plates. I made two plates from an old Nintendo Wii console housing, but you can make yours out of whatever material you prefer. Next, you need to drill three holes into the y-axis lens tray and screw motherboard mounts into those holes. Then you need to drill three holes into one of your plates. We'll call this the bottom plate. Make sure the holes on the bottom plate match up with the motherboard mounts on the tray. Next, take your two plates and temporarily secure them together with hot glue. Make sure that their edges line up. Drill a hole in each corner of the two plates for future motherboard mounts. Next, attach the bottom plate to the lens tray using screws. Screw motherboard mounts into the bottom plate corners and secure the other plate to the bottom plate with screws. Now you can place the housing with the X and Z axes onto the housing with the Y axis. Next, secure them together by screwing in L braces, or another type of brace that's that basic shape, on the front of the unit. Screw in a few screws on the back as well. Now it's time for the Arduino and stepper motor drivers to come into play. So remember how we tested each stepper motor coil and hooked up wires to each coil? Well now we are going to connect those wires to the driver boards. The first coil wires, coil A, are represented in red, and the second coil wires, coil B, are represented in black. This diagram should be how everything is wired up, but if in the future nothing is moving, you may need to switch to the A and B coils, or switch to the two wires connected to coils A or B. Now we can connect the driver boards to the Arduino. So this is the Y-axis wiring, this is the Z-axis wiring, and this is the X-axis wiring. For the Y-axis, connect ground to a ground pin on the Arduino, connect the second annular ring which says step to pin 3, and finally connect the third ring that says direction to pin 6. For the Z-axis, connect ground to ground, step to pin 4, and finally direction to pin 7. For the X-axis, connect ground to ground, step to pin 2, and direction to pin 5. Next, you need to connect all of the power in wires to each other. You can connect them all to a breadboard if you prefer to. I will talk about this more in the next part. Okay, well, that concludes part one of my tutorial. Be sure to watch the next and final part when I show you how to hook up your 3D printer pen, set up the power, install the software, and start 3D printing. There will be links to all of the parts I used in the description. Make sure to check out Tinkerness tutorial as well. I'm sure it will be very helpful. Leave a like if you enjoyed and a dislike if you didn't. Be sure to comment if you have any questions or would like to give me feedback on my video. By the way, I just surpassed 2,800 subscribers, so I just want to say thank you to everyone who is subscribed. I hope all of you extremely enjoyed the video and learned something new. Adios.